is Betomania already over? That's what many people are saying, as he's hasn't been able to break out of the large pack of GOP candidates and cannot even get ahead of Biden, despite the fact Biden has not announced yet. Earlier failed stunts, like the one below, where he talked about immigration during a dental visit, may have turned off voters. Watch the video, I'll pass. Beto O'Rourke's successor at Rep Escobar says she would not have live-streamed from the dentist chair, pic.twitter.com slash zkshrdjtm2, John Berman, at John Berman, January 11, 2019 Beto is also using the not-so-original Trump is a Nazi, line of attack on the campaign trail. Watch the video, Beto O'Rourke recounts talking to a Mexican-American girl who asked, why does the president not like me? and compares President Trump's rhetoric and actions on immigration to rhetoric and actions he would expect to have heard during Nazi Germany's Third Reich, pic.twitter.com slash mhd8zz59oi, NBC News, at NBC News, April 5, 2019 Daily Wire reported that Beto O'Rourke's campaign to be president started out well enough, but things haven't exactly taken off as expected for the former member of Congress and once failed Senate candidate from Texas. O'Rourke's fundraising began with a bang, the candidate, who had never before launched a national campaign, raised $6.1 million in under 24 hours, besting a previous record set by Senator Bernie Sanders, IVT. But unlike Sanders, O'Rourke's numbers haven't gone up since he announced his interest in the 2020 Democratic presidential nomination, and according to Politico, he's mired in the middle of the pack competing against only second-string candidates, Sanders is far ahead in both polling and fundraising, though he's still running several points behind former Vice President Joe Biden, who hasn't even entered the race yet, and O'Rourke is now trailing South Bend, Indiana, Mayor, Pete Buttigieg, who quickly supplanted O'Rourke as the young upstart Democratic golden child, raising an impressive $7 million in just a few days on the stump, and drawing much larger crowds and much more media attention. In addition, Beto is also having trouble filling venues in Iowa. Beto had a hard time filling the room. My latest from Iowa City colon slash slash t dot co slash a six and wove kfni pick dot twitter dot com slash dia six at ggq six. Joe Gabriel Simonson at says Simonson, April eighth, twenty nineteen. The Washington Examiner reported that O'Rourke, forty six, a former Texas congressman, started thirty minutes late and the University of Iowa Student Union ballroom remained less than half-filled as the candidate gave his pitch to fewer than 120 students, families, and retirees before taking questions, many of those were not committed to O'Rourke. That also might be an inflated number. According to the report, several students were there to get extra credit for college classes. One student who spoke to Simonson told him that he actually preferred former tech executive Andrew Yang for the Democratic nomination.